Uh, good afternoon, back again. Again, hope you're doing well, having a bit of fun, uh, keeping fit and eating well. Remember, we all should be trying to eat between five and seven portions of fruit and veg a day. So, uh, a fistful of peas, a fistful of beans, an apple, an orange, a pear, whatever way you like it, but between five to seven portions of fruit and veg a day and drink plenty of water. Okay, and then when you want a little treat, I am going to suggest to you that you try my nutty flapjacks. We made them before and I think you all really liked them. There is nothing easier than these. They are so easy to make. So they're like a nutty sweet or an oaty nutty sweet biscuit. And basically into a bowl, I put seven ounces of porridge, two ounces of plain flour and four ounces of chopped hazelnuts. I didn't have hazelnuts, so I did chopped mixed nuts. Again, when you're baking, you can improvise. If you don't have one thing, you can add in another thing. If it's you're missing something sweet, choose a different sweet thing to add in. You're missing a type of nut, try another kind of nut. So I was missing hazelnuts, so we're having mixed nuts. Then in a pot, you add the liquids that with the things that will become the liquid of the mixture. And it's basically four ounces of brown sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, don't be afraid to use white sugar. So this is ordinary light brown sugar, otherwise known as demerara sugar. So four ounces of that, two tablespoons of golden syrup, which will add real sweetness to it. In fact, I apologize, it's three ounces of sugar, two tablespoons of golden syrup, and four ounces of butter. I put it all into a pot and I get it to melt up together. And this won't take long. And on the, in the pot, the butter will melt and the sugar will dissolve. And that's what I want. I'm trying to get the mixture even and then I'll dry it, add it into our dry ingredients. So the dry ingredients for flapjacks are seven ounces of porridge oats, two ounces of plain flour and four ounces of chopped nuts. Um, now I'm going to put that on a cooler rack for a minute because I'll tell you, I have just washed my hands for 30 seconds, but I'm going to wash them a little bit again. And I absolutely love a little zest of lemon in this. So in fact, I'll finish off this other lemon from earlier and just pop in a little bit of that zest in. When you are taking the zest from the lemon, don't go down to the white bits. If it gets, you go into the white bits, they are bitter, but the, um, you want the yellow skin because that's where the, the flavour is. When you start going down to the white bits, it's bitter. Okay, so even that little bit will add a, a little a little twang. Okay, in fact, I have half a lemon here. Maybe I'll even put in a squeeze of lemon juice. I can use, or use maybe a little bit of the zest of that one. Um, so you can see that with this little zester and as you know, there is a little knack to it, but when you get good at it, it's very, very easy, okay, to get the zest off. So I'm going to check on my liquid ingredients now because it's all becoming a liquid. My three ounces of brown sugar, two tablespoons of golden syrup and four ounces of butter. Just mixing it all up very nicely. Do you remember when we made um, the fudge? It has a similar kind of recipe with sugar, butter, and then condensed milk, golden syrup, and just mix it up. So this will be almost caramelish in flavor. In fact, if I added condensed milk into that and kept mixing it up and cooking it, it would turn into a caramel. Now with my lovely basting spoon again, I am just gonna mix up these ingredients. So I'm going to just get my bowl, get down to the bottom, everything stirred around, okay? And then I'm going to add my liquid. Get all of that liquid poured right into it and then scrape every last bit out of it. Yum, 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 it smells gorgeous. Even already it smells like caramel. I have to say, I love caramel. And then I'm going to mix it up so I get behind it, get under it and mix it up. Okay, again, obviously normally I do not hold the bowl as I do this, but I want everything well mixed. 
Now, unlike the scones, we're not trying to get the air into this. So I just want this well mixed, okay? And there we go. So you can see it's a kind of soft mixture. In fact, it's not unlike the brown bread, if you look up close. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this, just check it's all mixed in there. Yes, it is. I'm going to get my spatula because I can see that some of this could stick to the edge and I do not want to waste a pick of it. And then I'm going to put it into my tin. So I'm going to get this into the tin. Oops, Daisy Caroline, you could actually tilt my camera for me a, a second if you very slowly just tilt it down. Oh, don't let it fall, yeah. I must say, yeah, that's great. Thank you, Caroline. Oh, it might continue to fall, maybe it won't. That's good. So I'm putting the mixture into the tin and I'll scrape around with the spatula. Um, you'd all have a great laugh if you saw how I am set up here trying to get this done. I'm trying to minimise family members coming in and out. I think I have starving family members up the other end. Well, the children aren't because half the scones are gone. But I, th I think I have a, a hungry husband up in his office where he's working. Um, so I'm going to let all of this flatten out. Ideally, it should be a nine inch tin, but that's the tin we did the fudge in the last day. And uh, I left it behind. Um, so hopefully I'll get that from you guys the next day when I go back because the fudge wasn't cool enough. Oh, wow, this is slipping. Anyway, you can see what we are doing. Okay, now it's, it's not a nine inch tin, it's nine by 23, nine by probably 12. So that's my uh, flapjacks ready to go into the oven. And they will take about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so I'm at about 180 degrees, 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gone over on a slant. Anyway, I'll talk to you then. Hi, back again, me again. Uh, the alarm just went off and there are our flapjacks. Can you see them? Caroline, my daughter, is holding the camera this time. Um, and now while the mixture is warm, I can cut them into shape. Yeah, I just shape them, but I don't take them out of the tin. I will leave them to cool in the tin. And then they will be enjoyed later. Have a good evening. I hope you'll get to do some of this stuff. Take good care of yourself. Get some exercise. And God bless. <laughs>